Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Makeup Monday. I just curled my hair, so I'm letting the curls kind of cool off. That might create a little bend, but that's okay. Sometimes I like a little bit of a bend in my curls. I have definitely got to clean my makeup brushes. Look at that one. Ah, that is a mess. Put that aside. So today I am going to run some errands. I need to go to Costco or Sam's, one of the two of those, and then I need to go to the regular grocery store as well. I think I'm gonna do today in the spirit of spring, being on the way, I'm gonna do a pink and brown look. That's what we're gonna go for anyway. Now I know some of you are thinking, what? I don't think that's gonna look too good, but you know what? A lot of times, you know, when I paint, I mention this all the time, I paint as a hobby. I oil paint, I acrylic paint, and it's my absolute um, decompression zone. I love, love, love to do that. And I apply those same principles to makeup. So one of the things we say in the art world is you can't have the light without the darkness. So it just kind of reminds you to put light next to dark. So we're going to try that. I am going to pop up the palette that we're going to be using if anyone wants to follow along and everything will be linked below. I already did my face. What I mainly have on today is this because it is a weekend when I'm filming this. So a lot of times I like to use this because it's moisturizer and it's cosmetic. So it's like a moisturizing. No, I don't want to say foundation because that isn't right, but it does give you a little bit of a glow to your skin. Can you see that color? I hope. And then I'm going to put a little perfume on I don't know if I've shown this to you yet in a video. I know that, I think I should have by now, but I know that the video will be out if not. This is a perfume company that I've been working with. Oh, that smells so good. So they are, they have really unique perfumes and really, really good prices. I'll leave this one below that I just put on. This will last all day. I mentioned in the video that when I wear this, I get compliments all the time. Kevin always asks what I'm wearing too. This one's called Fearless Elixir. So like I said, I'll leave everything linked below for you. And I do have a discount with that perfume company, but this will last all day. This to me smells like gardenia and hyacinth, but there's an amber note in it that brings it down a little bit warmer. I just love it. So anyway, all of that said, let's jump into this palette and we are going to start with kind of a pinky, pinky shade across my lids. And you saw that I put primer on. I always have to put eyeshadow primer on because I don't know if you noticed, but in the corner, especially today for some reason, see how wrinkly I am right there? And if I just leave that be and apply shadow without dealing with that, it won't look good. It'll look really, really patchy. You know, it's funny because my sister is a business ex executive, so she has to wear makeup. You know, I shouldn't say she has to, but she feels like she's her best self when she wears... This is the wrong brush. This brush is too small. Anyway, she feels like... You know what? I'm switching the brush. I can't do it. The brushes matter, they really do. Anyway, she feels like her most confident self for presentations and things like that when she wears makeup. And I totally understand that. If you don't feel confident in yourself, then it kind of affects everything in life, you know? Anyway, she had mentioned to me last time I saw her, we're into the brown now, obviously. She had mentioned to me that she just can't wear makeup anymore. She feels like these corners here that it gets really patchy and she doesn't think it looks nice. It doesn't blend. And I asked her, I said, Bridge, do you, her name's Bridget. I said, Bridge, do you uh, use eyeshadow primer? Anyway, she said, what's that? So, you know, when we were younger, when we were growing up, don't worry, trust the process. We're not leaving it like this. We need to get our old standby. My favorite, cannot live without this one. And I'm just going to blend. This is a clean brush. I'm just going to blend this out. But I don't remember when I was like in high school or even in my 20s. And even I would even say in my 30s. I don't remember eyeshadow primer existing. Now I'm going to switch brushes again and go into an eyeliner brush. 
And we're just going to come right down here and pull a little bit of color below. I always mention when I do this lower lash, we're going to deepen this up a little bit because I know this looks a little bit like I need to go take some Zyrtec. It's okay. We're going to deepen that up a little bit. But I always say, just get a brush, dip in the eyeshadow, and don't worry. If you feel like you need to make a perfect straight line, you absolutely do not. You're just giving the suggestion of a line. I'm going to use a Sigma Black Eyeliner now just to deepen it up and hopefully get rid of that allergy look. All right, I think that's good. But you know what? I think we need to angle up just a little bit right here. All right, I think that's good. But I think we need to angle upwards just a little bit right here. So let's do this. I'm just going to take a little bit of really bright concealer. And we're just going to angle that up with a clean brush. All right, I found a clean brush. So let's just angle that up a little bit. Just to help kind of clean it up. It's not nearly as bad on this side, but on the other side, we were dipping down just a little bit more than what I want to. I think we still could use a little bit more this way. All right, there we go, that's much better. See, I mentioned that sometimes in my videos that you want to try to have it kind of swing up just a little bit. Not too, too much, but just a little bit. So I just kind of wanted to clean that up a little bit and kind of angle that upwards just a little bit. And now I'm just going to deepen up my eyebrows a little bit more. I already had this on the dark brown powder. But I'm going to deepen it up just a tiny bit more because I think it needs it. All right, there we go. So let's get some lipstick on. And I think I'm going to use this Sigma Beauty and the Beast lipstick. Kind of do a neutral. Let's see. Yeah. All right, there we go. I like that color. Now, I have no idea why I went ahead and zigzagged like that. I think I was just kind of looking at my lips and thought I need to get something on there. But I do want to add a little sparkle in the middle here just for some shading and a little bit of pop. So I'm going to put a little bit of shimmer shadow and I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush so it goes exactly where I want it. And I just kind of want to put it right up through the middle like this almost to make like a halo, you know, just kind of like a beam of light right there in the center of your eye, your eyelid, I should say. See how pretty that is? Just a little bit. You don't need a ton. And I always mention if you spray the brush, I'm using just a basic setting spray to spray the brush. If you do that, it won't fall out and wind up everywhere. I did a look last week with a TJ Maxx um, product that had sparkle in it, and let me tell you, it was awful. And it was everywhere for really the rest of the day, I would say. That's why I'm always kind of careful with that TJ Maxx stuff. And I'll show it, I did, I did film it. Um, and it was, it was pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and do some mascara. I'm going to put another coat on and some down here on the bottom lashes. Set my face. I'm going to just spray it and I'll pull my hair out and I'll show you the finished look. Here is our finished look. I think it came out very pretty, kind of the exact look I was going for. I didn't want to get too deep on the brown, but I think we definitely got a nice little contrast between the sparkly pink and then also the deeper brown over here. I think it blended out really, really pretty. And again, that's why I always suggest using a primer, an eyeshadow primer, because it really does make a difference. I will link everything that we used in today's video below along with this perfume. I don't know, if you like to smell like a fresh garden that just kind of blew by, 
this this is your man right here. This is the one. This just smells. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I know it's hard. It's hard to know what something smells like when you're describing it online and you can't smell it. And I know that this is nowhere in stores, but this is very unique. If you like a stronger floral perfume that is not, it dries down to just a very, very pleasant, like the best way for me to describe it is if you walked by sort of a garden of flowers, it's just really lovely scent. So anyway, that is our finished look. I will leave everything linked below for you and I will see you in the next couple days for another video.